the mayor of Liverpool has praised the taxi driver injured in yesterday's car explosion in the city for his heroic efforts. Joanne Anderson said the man, who's been named locally as David Perry, had managed to divert what she said could have been an absolutely awful disaster at the Liverpool Women's Hospital. The UK's security service, MI5, is assisting counter-terrorism police with the investigation. Three men have been arrested. This report by our correspondent, James Reynolds, contains flashing images. Oh my God, look at his head. The police say they are working at speed to establish the circumstances of this, the car explosion just outside the Liverpool Women's Hospital in central Liverpool. It happened shortly before 11 o'clock yesterday morning, at a time when Remembrance Day services were about to begin across the country. The driver survived the blast. The passenger, who has not been named, was killed. Unfortunately, I can confirm that one person has died and another has been taken to hospital where he is being treated for his injuries, which thankfully are not life threatening. <coughs> so far, we understand that the car involved was a taxi, which pulled up at the hospital shortly before the explosion occurred. In the Kensington area of Liverpool, around a mile from the explosion, three men aged 21, 26 and 29 were arrested under the Terrorism Act. This gives the authorities the power to hold detainees for up to 14 days without charge. And late at night, a number of homes in Liverpool's Rutland Avenue and nearby Cumberland Avenue were evacuated. They're reported to be close to a house which was raided by the police in the hours after the incident. Counter-terrorism police Northwest are leading the overall investigation. They're supported by officers from Merseyside Police and the security service, MI5, is also assisting. Investigators say they're keeping an open mind as to what caused the explosion. James Reynolds, BBC News. I spoke earlier to our correspondent in Liverpool, Andy Gill. Well, Liverpool Women's Hospital remains uh, largely sealed off this morning. It's a large area with a big footprint with this police tape all around the perimeter and police officers standing guard at regular intervals around the perimeter. Visiting restricted, restricted, but appointments are going ahead, but people driving in are having their cars checked by police before they go in. The hospital, one of three locations in Liverpool where this investigation is centred. The other, as James's report mentioned, to the north of the city where three men were arrested and another about a mile south of here uh, where a house is being searched and a number of homes were evacuated. Some families had to go into emergency accommodation provided by Liverpool Council. Now, counter-terrorism officers are keeping an open mind about what lies behind behind this. But as we know, the explosion took place just before 11 o'clock and that was the time across the country, but also here in Liverpool, where the city's remembrance service was about to take place at the Anglican Cathedral, which is a short walk from this hospital. And it's unusual for the remembrance service here to take place at that location. It normally takes place in the city centre, but it couldn't this year because of roadworks. The Home Secretary, Priti Patel, is being kept up to date with events. Uh, government Minister has told the BBC this morning that this is an emerging situation. Merseyside Police say people can expect to see more patrols and more officers on the street in Liverpool today as part of a reassurance plan.